Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back once again it is your boy Duffer Josh with some more next car game Wreckfest and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mark 1 Saloon um, Granada that is just so anyone who doesn't know what it is and we're going to take this beast for a rip and see what's going on with it see if there's been any changes in sam's mod i haven't tried it out yet so you'll be seeing exactly what i'm seeing for the first time and yeah hopefully it all goes well um definitely doing some changes under the bonnet there um i haven't noticed that before please correct me if i am wrong but there's a little bit of a dash in there as well now battery tray again um different bits and pieces going on there not too much going on on the outside of the car still pretty square um, notice these bonnet bolts that are actually staying bolted to the bonnet with the pins in them still that's pretty cool um, so yeah let's go take this beast for a rip I have not changed anything under the bonnet so it's all the same so let's take this 75 1975 Granada to the track. Let's go. I managed to get all AIs on this, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I had a mod interfering with it, so well, I've got it all sorted now, so it's all cool. Um, and away we are. All AI, banger mod, with the Mark 1 saloon. Let's go fucking cause some trouble. A lot of fucking Yankee things on the track. Snapped pretty well. Boom! He got followed in. I just got fucking done through the door. That was a driver's door. By a yank. Lovely. Now I'm stuck. Can't get myself going. Can we pick the jag up? No, I don't think I can. Oh, then it is wheeling. Oh no, I can't turn. Definitely a lot more lifelike than the handling side of things, so that's good. It's a good change. like the fact that I can actually slap the arse end out on these cars now and that's from how they come in the game how they are like straight off the bat that's how I'm getting the car boom damage looks pretty fucking cool really liking this wheel like jamming up and shit adds to so much detail but you can still get the car around the track we ain't gonna be long before we're dead. Go on, mate. It is. Yes, that's it. When he hit him, then it like it was like his skin transferred to his car. Boom! We're dead. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take this beast around Sheffield Raceway and get some fucking it and go in. Right, where's me Sheffield at? There we go, champ. Oh, look at all these AIs lined up on Sheffield. Oh, it would help if I moved. I reckon we can get some cracking followings going on on this track. Oh, shit. Very arse ending. Can we get the jag? Can we get the jag? Go on, get the jag. No. He's holding, holding his line. Yes, we finally fucking got him in that fucking post there. Right. Come on, we're back on. We're back up. Ooh, he looked quite snapped actually. Is that an Impala on the fence there? Nice shot, Josh. Nice shot, mate. There we go. 
He's fairly creased up on the rear end. I'll try and pull in on him. Yes, got him again. Ooh, damn. Just got driving stored by that Jag. Come on. Jag just got it. Boom. That Jag just got done on the start line big time. Absolutely caged the fuck out of him. Give this Jag some. Boom. Did that kill him? Fucking hell, it was an instant kill. No, he's still alive. Only just. He'll be dead next hit, I reckon. Definitely dead now. This car is so fun. The, Sam's done a really good job of this fucking mod because I know it's still a work in progress, but just everything's changed and it's just it's made everything so much better and more enjoyable. And it's making the game more of a challenge as well because the cars do not handle all the same when damaged. Boom, I did not finish. I killed the Mark 1. We're going to do a restart. See if we can get some damage on the rear end on this one. See if we can get that bitch snapped. So we'll run a couple of laps. See if we can get some follow-ins on them couple of first laps. And then we're just going to go wrecking. Nope. I'm fucking spun put on the tyres. I think we should just fucking back it straight up. There we go, snapping, snapping the Mark 1. Ooh, just got T-bone now over there. That was a big T-bone as well, wrong side though. It'd been better if it was the other side. Like the fact that it wraps around the cage, that's pretty cool, but the door plate should still stay straight, in my opinion. I know it's a game, I know it's a game, I'm just saying. Right. Let's back this bitch up. Boom. Have some of that sunny Jimmy. Car's looking pretty fucking wrecked like realistically as well. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Keep backing up. Come on, Jank. Yank. Yank. Impala. Whatever. Right. Now we're looking a little squash. Look like we've actually been doing some fucking hitting and some banger racing in this Mark 1. We're actually going to now take it round like it's been raced about six meetings prior to this race. Let's see how well it does. At the moment, it's a pig to handle. Not too bad. Livable. Don't wreck me, you little fucker. I'm enjoying a wrecked car for once. Oh, I'm going to kill myself on the fucking tyre. Fuck it, back it up. Wreck that bitch. That front end looks so fucking awesome. Oh, did kill myself on the tyre in the end. Awesome mod there. Loved it. Yet again, well done, lads. So... Let us know what your thoughts are on that one. I thought it was pretty fucking good. Um, and it is a beta. I will just keep saying this till you understand it. It is a beta. Anyway, I'm Duffer Josh. Peace out. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're all loaded in. And this is the beauty. Tads has done an absolutely amazing job on this. Um, we've been through, we've tested it. And it ain't going to get much better than this, really. Just look at the details he's put in, to the fences, to the, to the stands, um, the grass, the texture of the track. He's got the vehicles in the middle, he's even got some piece of nice looking tractors in there. We even got the light poles with the uh, Jennings on the bottom. And I must say, they look absolutely brilliant. Um, and they do actually break up, I didn't know this until Shepard Shooters themselves. Um, they even look down to a very, very 